Oh my goodness! Hello everyone! Salutations! It's so good to see you all! Today is Thursday, June 2nd, and today we're talking about summer. So basically in today's video what I'm doing is talking about summer plans. That's the theme for this week. There'll be a theme every week, which you'll kind of have to listen for sometimes. Sometimes it'll be explicitly said to you. But that's the theme for this week, summer plans. And so we're kind of going through what we have to do throughout the summer, what we want to do throughout the summer. That's basically what I'm going to be going over today. Just for you guys, and for you guys alone. So the first thing we have to do is we have to go back to the magical time of like the second day of summer and let's just pretend that's what this is because it's more easy to say what all my summer plans are, were, have been. If we just talk about them in the future and say those were my plans if I was talking to you back then. First thing I did was read The Black by DJ McHale. It's the second book in the series called the Morpheus Road Trilogy. The first book was The Light and I read that last summer. The second thing I have to do is read A Storm of Swords and A Feast for Crows by George R. R. Martin because A Dance with Dragons is coming out this summer and I want to read that too. The next thing I'm going to be doing is reading Robert Frost poetry. I have to do that for a class called Junior Poet, which I'm taking next semester. And it's going to be kind of awesome. His poetry is really fantastic and I love it. I've loved it since forever. I really have. I'm going to love reading this. Next thing I'm doing is reading Jude the Obscure and Far From the Madding Crowd by Thomas Hardy because frankly when I read Far From the Madding Crowd I love Thomas Hardy's prose. His poetry is pretty good too and so I'm looking forward to Jude the Obscure. I'm reading Far From the Madding Crowd because I need to reread it. I'm reading Jude the Obscure because I want to read more Hardy. Next thing I'm going to do is read Go Down Moses. I'm going to finish it. Well, I'm probably going to read the whole thing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish it because I started it, but I didn't actually read everything in Go Down Moses because we didn't have to read every single story for the class that I took. And then I'm going to read As I Lay Dying because it's a good Faulkner novel to start on, so I've heard anyway. And it's going to be awesome, because everyone should read at least a little Faulkner. Next thing I'm going to read is Wuthering Heights, because I promised a friend that I would read it, and I haven't done it yet. In fact, that friend is Lynn, and I feel really bad that I haven't finished it yet, so I'm going to try and finish it this summer. I'm also going to reread Portrait of an Artist as a Young Man by James Joyce, because, frankly, I need to keep rereading this book over and over and over again. And what summer is really complete without Joyce, anyway? I'm also going to be watching this show, Fringe, which my mother introduced me to. So far, it's pretty awesome. I'm liking it so far, and I'm going to continue watching it throughout the summer. The next thing I'm going to be doing is writing. I have no idea what I'm going to write, but I will let you know when something is finished. Finished. Nothing is finished yet, I assure you. But you know guys, with with all this reading, I feel like I'm kind of betraying my other passions like law or computer science. Maybe I should be reading something more like this constitutional law book, or this phone book, or maybe even this light bulb! Now it's time to move on to the word of the day. Today's word of the day is intestable. It is an adjective, and when you're intestable, it means you are not legally qualified to make a will. In other words, you are an infant or you are legally insane. So go out and tell your friends that they are intestable and they will love you for it because they will obviously think it is a compliment unless they go look it up, in which case you should probably not tell the friends who will look it up that they are intestable because they'll look it up. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful Thursday today and Danny and Elizabeth, I will see you tomorrow.